peek at some of the big players in today's game, and you're a big player in today's game as well. Let's get the party started. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away this is taken at the three and a pretty good return here he'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line the one running back is Gurley and they'll give it to him here and he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second down following the run. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. And that's the way to get things started the first time you touch the football on the road. And you have to believe all week long, all they've talked about is it's probably gone after that run. On first down, it's Gurley. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yard. Side, it's Kelsey. And he'll get it down here to the 43. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. How about the timing on that one? Well, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Finding time. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. No gain on the play there. Second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as... He's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. He's got the hook up to Lee. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big-time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Now a first carry for LeGarrette Blount. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. And look at this. They're keeping the punter on the sideline. They're going to go for it here on the opening drive. And Brady will sneak it. 
He'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this crowd into it early. Their guys stand tall on the opening drive of the football game. And tough starting field position here. Set, right 20. Right 20. Go. Now a play fake here on first down. On the left side, he finds Beasley. Give him nine there on the first down completion. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll run it here with Smith. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They go play action here on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target. And it's second down. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. On the ground, this is Smith. Fighting him off. Just ran right through the trash. And a cut to the sideline. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite 40. A big play here for Dallas. 48 yards. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. Smith. Touchdown, Cowboys! Emmett Smith, 36 yards, and the Cowboys are in for six. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball, too, right? Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. And his kick is right through. Kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind him, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations. He rifles one that's intercepted. And how about this? It's the other Brandon Marshall that picks it off. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. And now here come the Cowboys. And now last drive so successful with the ground go, game, go, go. ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. Is that Woody he would have it on the ground. <laughs> to throw is Romo. And this one caught by Beasley. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Cole Beasley, 32 yards. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And this one through the uprights and good. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. 
Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception. A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Trying to find his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. And how about this? It's the other Brandon Marshall that picks it off. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown, Looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Set, right 18, right 18, go! From the 50, it's Romo. And he finds Beasley, complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. Five yards to gain here on third down. Ready, right, 20. Gun, gun, gun. And he goes in motion here in the backfield. Go. Now it's Romo. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good. But when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. On fourth down, Romo. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. I remember in pregame when we were talking to him on the field and he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers. A few misshapen ones in there. <laughs> and touchdown, Cowboys! Emmett Smith with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys will extend their lead.